what family of birds you have? I fly their, their Higgins birds that came from Henry Cook. Henry Cook got some birds from Jerry Higgins years ago. Henry's been fooling with them, but he sent them down to uh, one of our club members, Wayne Yates. And mo uh, most of the guys in their club are flying that those family of birds. Now, I do have some Andalusians. I got one double-factored Andalusian hen from Lathan Collins in the Triad Club in North Carolina. I brought it up because I like the color and I like they spin. Right. And they go back to James Turner. I think it was Lathan got his, his from. And I bred her on different cocks, and I got quite a few of those now, and I fly them, and I mix them with those Henry Cook Higgins birds. And I got some birds from uh, Wayne Longus that go back to some local birds around here and just mix them together, and I fly them like that. I mean, I'm happy with the family I've been fooling with for a while. I seem good. to do well on my, how I feed them and stuff. Can I see the inside of your kit boxes? Huh? Inside of your kit boxes? Sure. And the kit boxes, boys in the club, Donnie Longus and his brother Scotty built me this kit box. And then uh, I bought this other one from Scotty when he got out of bird. But they did a good job. Yeah, that's nice. And I like the kit box because you can you can handle, you know, your birds better, I think, by having them in kit boxes. Yeah. I've tried both ways. I like them when they got I, I kind of use the V V perches, and, and I don't like them. I think I'm going to switch to those. I like the box perches. It does cut down on some of the fight. Right. For me, it works. Right, right, right. How long you been doing this? I've had pigeons since I was a kid off and on. I got serious. I mean, we, we had clubs in Richmond back in the 80s. I was with Walter Porch, Bubba Turner, a bunch of guys, local guys. And then I got away from it. And then uh, I guess about, I can't remember what year it was, probably about five, six years ago. I had pigeons, I kept my pigeons off and on, you know, I had some pigeons. And Donnie Longus and Chris Cox came by and started talking about forming another club. And that's when we got together and we formed the VRA back then. Walton, Donnie Long, all the Longus, Wayne, Brian, Scotty, Chris. And we flew to the VRA for a while and then we basically kind of just merged into the VPRC. The VPRC was already in Richmond going at the time. Right. And we kind of merged the two clubs together and now we're basically the VPRC. And it's a lot of the same members from both clubs. Seems to be doing real well. That's good, that's good. I see the breeder love? Sure. It's 30 now. It's all right. But back here, let me show you my individual. All I ever had was that loft right there. I bred out of everything, but I built these individuals and put on here a couple years ago. And I've had real, real good luck with these. I like those individuals. Yeah, it is nice. And I wanted something where I could, you know, get my pairs, keep better records on them. You know what you're getting out of a pair. You can, you can handle them better, maintain them better. Works good. And I even put all my feed cans on, on wheels. So I can roll them in and out. <laughs> and get my feed out. Oh, you use Brown's feed? Yeah. Brown's getting a little bit expensive, boy. Yeah, it's expensive. And I do, I, I feed, my breeder is a little higher protein feed than I, than I do my flying birds. Right. But I, my flying birds, I try to cut it with wheat. You know, I'll, I'll feed them this as a, as a basic. And then I'll cut it down before I fly. I'll cut, use wheat, straight wheat to cut it. Okay. But everybody's got their little, their little twists. Little and tricks, turns. yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are my, these are my stock birds. These are my hens over here. And the stocks over here on the left. Like I said, it ain't been cleaned in a while. And what's in front of us? This, I, these, all this used to be my individual breeders when I first, this is all I had was this big law. And all these were individual breeders. Oh, okay. But now I built the ones on the back and I just use this for storage. It's a nice little, nice little love. And the reason I got a small, such a small law is because I know the bigger the law, the more the pigeons. Yeah. So I keep, I like kind of keeping this so I can keep my numbers down and it helps me. I have. I'm going to stop this.